row, 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 row boat gently to our Minecraft mod because we're going to add boats in this tutorial. All right, we find ourselves back in Challenge more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom boat and a custom chest boat to Minecraft over here. Absolutely freaking fantastic. It's going to be really awesome because, once again, we will be using the Terraform MC API over here, the Terraform Wood API. So if you have not seen the last tutorial where I added the chests as well as the Wood API, highly recommended to watch this as you basically need it. You really only need to add those two lines over here to the dependencies and you need to add this line, right? The Maven line to the, your repositories and then you're pretty much good to go. And then we can use the Terraform API. And for this, it's actually going to be incredibly easy. Adding boats without the API is somewhat possible. However, it is so much more complicated than I, I, I basically cannot recommend it. It's It just doesn't make any sense. So in our entity package, we're going to make a new Java class called the mod boats class. And here we're going to need a couple of different things. So the first one is two identifiers. It's going to be a public static final identifier and this is going to be the chestnut underscore boat underscore id equal to a new identifier of tutorial mod dot mod id and this is going to be the chestnut underscore boat there you go you can duplicate this and then this is going to be the chestnut underscore chest boat and of course here chestnut underscore chest boat awesome then we need a registry key this is going to be a public static final registry key of type terraform boat type there you go, of this one. This is the chestnut underscore boat underscore key equal to a Terraform boat type registry that create key passing in the chestnut boat ID and there you go. Now, of course, as always, if you want to add multiple different types of boats, right? If you, for example, had a walnut boat as well, then you would need to copy over all three of those and then just change the names over here. Should be fairly self-explanatory. Then we want to make a public static void register boats method right here in this case there you go and then for this we actually need a couple of different things mainly we want to basically add the items so that we can actually register them so let's jump into the mod items class and actually register the items for this now this is extremely straightforward so for this uh we're just we're just going to copy over the coin right here because that's actually going to be as complicated as it's going to be this is the chestnut underscore boat and this is going to not even call the register item method. This is going to call terraform boat item helper dot register boat item, passing in mod boats dot chestnut boat ID, and then mod boats dot chestnut boat key. And the last parameter is false because this is not a chest boat. And now duplicate this. This is now the chestnut underscore chest boat. Here we're changing the first parameter to mod boats dot chestnut chest boat ID. And then here just to true. That's literally all we need to do. And now our two items are registered. So once again, of course, if you have multiple ones, right, then you would duplicate them. Make sure to choose the correct IDs and the correct key over here. And that is literally all you need to do. It's so simple. It is actually crazy. Of course, the items here still can be added to a creative mode tab. And that's actually also what we definitely want to do. So let's add both of the boats over here to our creative mode tab, to the item group. That's going to be awesome. So that's done. The mod items is done. And now in the register boats, we can basically finish the sort of last thing we want to do. And that is the terraform boat type over here. That's going to be our chestnut boat, let's say, equal to a new builder. And it's going to basically suggest to you the terraform builder right here, which is exactly right. So that's what the one we want to do. And then here in the item, we want to say mod items dot chestnut boat. Then we want to call the chest item, which is going to be the mod items dot chestnut chest boat. Then the dot planks, which is going to be mod blocks dot chestnut planks. And then lastly, dot build. And there you go. Then we want to call a registry choosing net Minecraft registry dot register terraform boat type registry dot instance chestnut boat key and then passing in the chestnut boat and there we go. Oh, and then also the planks over here, of course, mod blocks chestnut planks is as item here in this case. And there you go. And of course, once again, you would need another type of boat and another registry call if you had multiple different types of boats, right? At this point, it should be very self-explanatory and not complicated. And in the tutorial mod on initialize method, we then just call mod boats dot register boats. Now our boats are registered. And then in the client class right here, we then want to also do terraform boat client helper dot register mod layers mod boats dot we want to use the ID over here and a false right here in this case because this is not a raft. So if you had a raft, you'd just put in a true right here. 
Of course, this still requires all the different things, including data gen, actually, because we, of course, want to get some item models here as well. So let's start with the data gen over here. That's just in the mod model provider. And it's as easy as literally just taking this guy over here. This is the chest over here. And then this is the chest, not chest boat. There you go. Those are both generated, so nothing too crazy. That's actually all the data gen that we need here in this case. And then, of course, a translation and all of that jazz as well. So that's the translation. And then we just need the textures. Now, for those, we actually want two item textures, of course, right? So those go into the item folder, chest boat, and the chest, not underscore chest underscore boat. Crazy enough. And then, of course, we also want the boats, which are under textures entity. Here, we want another directory called boat. And we want another directory over here called chest underscore boat. And then those are both called chestnut underscore boat. So the names of the textures over here are the same, as you can see. They are in different directories. So entity boat chestnut boat is this one. And then the entity chest chest boat is this one, as you can see. So that's basically the general idea. As always, of course, all the code and everything is available to you in the GitHub repository in the description below. So and now we can run the data gen over here to get ourselves the item model files, which are actually the only thing that we need for the data gen. And then everything else should be working perfectly fine. There you go. So that is actually everything we need to do. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, here we are back in Minecraft. You can see the chestnut boat and the chestnut chest boat have been added. So let's see. There you go. There they are in all of their glory. And you can see I can basically go in here and I can, well, start rowing, right? Just like the intro said. Row, row, row your boat gently uh, into this mod because this is all working, including, for example, the boat with chest right here. So that is absolutely freaking fantastic. And I'm telling you, uh, it is basically not possible to add it without the API. Like, while it is theoretically possible, there are some issues that can't be easily resolved without incredible amounts of mixing. And to be honest, at that point, you can also just add it with the API because it's so much freaking easier. So that is custom boats. Add it to Minecraft. And that's already it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this tutorial, we'll talk about throwable projectiles. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.